Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Harisha and I have been a tarot reader and a crystal healer for a, for a pretty long time now. I have been practicing with over hundreds of um, satisfied clients and I have decided to put a foot forward in the YouTube life so that I can give you all a free reading and also um, you guys can get on to my community where we talk about so many things about spirituality about manifestation about law of attraction and of course tarot reading and crystals so let's get started so today's reading is about what will happen in the next 90 days i think this is very important as um the situation here in india is very very chaotic we are all scared for our lives and I think if I could be a little bit of a help to you guys, that would be amazing. So uh, to support me, please hit the like button so that the YouTube algorithm starts working for us as well. Uh, please make sure to stay till the end of the video so that you can get proper messages and you just don't take half of what I'm trying to say here. So today we are going to do uh, readings based on three piles. The piles are divided into three bracelets. So first is the rose quartz bracelet, the black agate bracelet and the citrine bracelet. If you want to shop these bracelets, they are available on our Instagram shop. You can head over it from the link in the description box below or you can type this and you'll find us there. You can DM us, you can get customized bracelets, crystals, kits and a lot many things. You can DM us for a personal reading as well. Hurry DM us now. Before that, please subscribe the YouTube channel here as well so you can get the notifications as and when we upload a new video. Apart from that, we are doing uh, an on-camera shuffle today for affirmations and we'll be getting crystals messages if you can hear there are too many crystals in this bag and we are going to be pulling out crystals live for you for your file and let's see how that flows okay so i'll be inserting an overhead picture of the piles you can choose from your intuition so these are the three groups we have today the first group is rose quartz bracelet the second group is black lace agate bracelet. The third group is citrine bracelet. Remember to drop down to your intuition to choose a pile so that the messages can resonate with you. Don't be in a hurry. You can pause the video if you need more time. Take a deep breath and choose from what your heart is calling towards. Hello and welcome to my channel everybody who picked the pile number one the rose quartz bracelet I think this is one of my favorite bracelets I as I wear it in everyday life um, This bracelet gives out subtle energies of you know self worth of happiness calmness as and when we uh, wear it If you want to order this bracelet or if you want to get customized crystal products head over to our Instagram and shop from there as we can provide you with too many authentic crystals and uh, we are giving a 25% off right now if you order before 9th of May. Just make sure that your products are priced over 500 so that you can avail the offer. So let's start with your reading. The first card is the moon card. Second is the sun. Third is the hanged man. Fourth is two of swords. Fifth is the ten of swords. So group number one, your reading is a very heavy one. I think there is too many things going on in your subconscious. Maybe you're happy right now, but you've gone through a huge emotional turmoil, which I can see from this. Um, you have fought your way. You have caught on to your intuition and i think that is a very hap uh, happening thing because the moon card shows that you have been working on your emotions on your inner self to you know grow to move on with your life and i think that is one of the most beautiful things um a person can do for themselves i can relate to that very much because i also belong to the emotional people out there um currently i see that you are quite an ecstatic person with the sun card you are happy you know who you are on the 
on the core values you know who you are um and what do you want in your life so i think this is something you should stick to uh, if you are going through a few issues uh, the, the issues are more based on your perspective the issues are more based on your um i think habit uh because the way we think is more out of habit and less out of our conscience so uh, with the center of the reading having this hanged man i think you should take everything a little slow you should go slowly when it comes to um uh, taking decisions which are life changing right but i see that you are um somewhere confused you are confused what to do with life and what to not i think what you have here is something sorry uh, there is a bird on the window uh, so i think what you have here in the center of this is yourself at the most authentic so you should hold on to that you should hold on to this as this is going to give you the mindfulness which you require to move ahead in life because um when the moon overpowers the sun it can be an emotional journey for you it can be a very um heavy time for you so you need to stick on to your happy side you need to stick on to the you know go with the flow side of you right now which is happening which which uh, connects you to your inner child um as i said earlier you have a big decision to make but please don't hurry making the decision as you need a little bit of perspective change before you take the decision i think uh, this is for the best as you are finishing your karmic cycles see this card this is the end of your reading you are finishing some karmic cycles i think this is going in a very good flow for you all you need to do is just hang on to your inner child just hang on to the true you and just power through life i think um before you take this decision you need some time to you know take rest i think not think about the decision you want to be taking or um just be very calm just be very patient of what life offers you if this does not resonate right now if you're not um in a decision making place right now this is the reading about what will happen in the next 90 days so maybe in the coming 90 days sorry if something might come up where you will have to take a life altering decision and i think uh, whenever the time comes you need to just listen to your inner voice you need to listen to yourself instead of letting the emotions overpower you because that is when you there are chances that you can spoil up what decisions you are going to take also with this card i think this is this is something very powerful you are ending a cycle of karmic pattern um it may be something you might be not aware of it might be on a subconscious level but it is something which can be a problem to you uh, whether you recognize it or not so i think it is going to be a very good start for whatever decision you take so um, let's shuffle your cards and see what affirmation comes up to clarify with this oracle i think this is the first time we are doing shuffling on camera uh, we're just trying out new formats to see uh, how this works out till then please don't forget to hit the like like button subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever we are putting up an uh, a video so the message for you from this affirmation deck who yes oh wow i think this is why we shuffle on camera this is pure magic you can be everything you want to be the power of change is within you i think this is very beautiful and it completely resonates with um your upcoming decision thing or anything there's too much of light on the card i'll just hold it here yeah uh, <laughs> there is um uh, there is an energy of bringing that change which you want you might yourself be a little bit worried about what is happening why you're not uh, able to take a decision 
but just hold on to your inner child and you'll see how this thing you know beautifully unfolds for you till then you need to have a strong mind a strong heart so that you don't end up um taking a decision just to please others just to be for others or uh, you know make others happy because when we're doing something to make others happy um it is not going to be nurturing for your soul right so you need to find out a way in between where you make in you can make yourself happy where you can make them happy and maybe it is about your family or partner or kids or whatever but i think um change is coming up for you and that change is going to be a life altering one where you will take the power of your life in your own hands so let's shuffle the crystals i love the asmr this is creating um so when i'm picking up crystals it is more about you know seeing which chakras need to be unlocked or what you need to work on to or sometimes it can also directly specify some of the health issues you might be having so i think um this should help oh wow so we have a rose quartz look at this i am so amazed out of all the crystals here i picked out a rose quartz all our tumbles if you want to see there's no 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 scope of cheating these are all tumble stones of different different colors and sizes um i am so happy to see double magic unfold once with the affirmation card and second with the crystal i think uh, with the moon card and with the karmic cycle ending there might be some blockage on your heart chakra which you need to work on to you can always actually use a rose quartz crystal um to heal yourself or you can do some self love practices which can help you you know adhere to who you truly are what makes you happy and you know fill your own cup before you go out and pour love to others so i think this is a very very beautiful reading and uh, that this is a heavy reading but i think it turns out so beautifully for you and the next 90 days are going to be life altering i think this is one of the greatest readings i might have done so far because you know it is a general reading still the messages are so specific that you know it just gives me goosebumps so that's all i have for your reading group 1 if you like the rose quartz bracelet or the crystals you can go out to our instagram and dm us and we'll be happy to send you energized crystal at crystal products you can also get customized um bracelets or um pendants or whatever you like to wear for your healings you can check out our page you can follow us there Don't forget to hit the like button here as well as it is a great way of supporting free tarot on YouTube. Also it will support our journey of just starting out on YouTube. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello and everyone. Welcome to this reading. Everybody who picked the lovely black lace agate bracelet. It is wonderful as you can see each and every bead of this crystal. is different it is so natural it is so beautiful you can order this bracelet from our instagram uh, we also do customized bracelets we have a mothers day sale running on right now today is the last day as today is 9th of may so please head over to our instagram and dm us to order now um before we do that please hit the bell icon subscribe button and the like button on this video it is a great way to support us as we are just stepping into youtube and it is a great way of supporting free tarot on youtube as well so let's start with your reading the first card is 8 of cups ace of wands 7 of pentacles the wheel of fortune i absolutely love this card and the five of swords okay um yes also before we start we are going to do an on camera shuffle of one of our favorite oracle decks of affirmations also an on camera shuffle 
of the crystals as well we are going to pick up messages from crystals about what chakras need healing or what you need to do as a practice within the upcoming 90 days to make sure that you know you are in a good zone make it your best days ahead okay so starting your reading with the eight of cups i think you have um moved out of a situation where uh, you have worked on so hard you have been waiting to get some results but you eventually got tired and moved out of that situation it can be a relationship it can be a work life um, situation it can be related to your family it can be anything at all uh, i see that you have been working towards a new start so let's see what happens um for whatever new you are thinking i think um you're looking for a passion project i think your this reading is more about your um career more about your business probably or studies wherever in whatever point you are at your life it can be that you have been uh, on a break recently and you need to start your work again so i think um this is a wonderful reading to start out let's see um the eight of cups to the ace of wands so whatever you're leaving behind you are recuperating it with the wonderful ace of wands when we talk about ace of wands it is all about finding your passion finding a way to make something work out for you it is all about you know picking a way and making it right for you so i think this is something um of a great pleasure to you uh this thing is going to be in your hands as you know it is a great offer but how you take that offer is in your hands it is in your um own self that how you put work into this how you grow this so that you know eventually you can reap benefits out of it the sec third card here the center of the reading is seven of pentacles i think this is also a good card because when this card you've left behind your efforts you've left behind something so beautiful uh, which you had created but because of soul satisfaction but because of emotional stress you left it and you moved out i think um you might be having to do a skill up upgrade where you know you need to understand what are the skills you need to have to go forward for something you really want or you really see yourself doing or being down the line within you know upcoming two years three years or whatever that is i think uh whatever you work you have put in yourself needs a little bit of brush up as you know you need to identify your weakness that you know what are your weak parts and what do you need to work on to to make this thing a, a big success for you this thing a dream come true for you i think uh, the energies are very much creative very much um on the forefront right now the the problems you have been facing ha are going to come to an end with this wheel of fortune wheel of fortune is more like you know a change of cycle it is like if you've been going through bad phase it is going to get on to a good phase just like we know if we don't feel something bad we don't understand the value of good so i think you have gone through your struggles and the times are changing for you i absolutely love this card some people think oh no wheel of fortune this is going to be a wheel of doom for us but that is not the truth wheel of fortune turns out to be one of the best cards which shows that you know whatever it is you're going to go through it and time will heal everything so i think it is very wonderful mm, you might have some issues regarding uh your partners or your if if this is resonating you to you in some sort of romantic way you might be having some ego clashes with your partner as well um when it comes to that point i think it is the best to leave our egos behind and you know just nurture the relationship as you don't want that you know even after winning the fight you lose the person you win the person and that is how you win the fight so i think um putting behind your egos is something very wonderful uh sometimes you know we are in that zone that we do not analyze that you know 
what we are trying to do here what we are trying to do by putting ourselves in the right foot is creating problems for a beautiful relation for your family or for your friends or for your work life partners that you know you eventually end up ruining the relation for life if this is you if you're not able to control your anger or your um belief system that is okay but if this is a partner please make sure to give them all the compassion you have and when it is you or you can do the same to you as well you can have all the compassion for yourself and know that you know this is just a situation but the person is for life so you understand how to go forward with this and you know make the best out of it um apart from that i see that uh, you have been going through some financial struggles which are coming to an end very very soon i think this is the 90 day reading so it will come to an end uh, or you'll find out a good solution before the 90 days ends if there is a debt problem if you are in a debt if you are needing to pay somebody some money i think you're going to get an offer to come out of that situation now please make the best of that offer so that your situations can <coughs> sorry your situation can change and you know bring you the much needed peace you have you should have okay that's it i what i have for you for the tarot messages that shuffle the affirmations deck to find out and clarify that what we have here is the truth or not or you know sometimes it can be just a minor phase in your life sometimes these situations have not come up yet but might come up in the next 90 days so let's see how it resonates you can book a personal reading with us dm us on instagram the link is in the description box below till the time i shuffle please hit the like button so that you know i can see that oh there are so many supporters anyway it's coming to the card okay i think this is the quest card here it is not an affirmation card it is a quest card wow ask yourself who are you why you are here is this behavior truly yours refocus on who you are and what you set out to be i think i can relate to this card with this seven of pentacles because you need to identify what are your weakness what it is that you really want to do and what it is you really wish to do go ahead with so that you can you know work on those parts there is no point of working on your strength part uh, to go forward it is always about creating a balance where you you know equally strengthen the weak part so that you can move forward with your work or life or whatever it is i think this card also resonates with this as you know you stick to your i think soul here and not the ego or the mind because the mind always wants to wants us to win the mind always wants us to um save ourselves or protect ourselves from anything negative whether it is fighting with somebody or whether it is you know looking out for a danger or anything so it is it is always good to you know choose your heart when it comes to the matters of mind because you can work out of compassion and anything done out of compassion is only going to give you compassion in return it is not going to go waste the energy you put out is going to come back for you so i think it is very um good message for you probably you might be feeling stuck from some time and this is something which will happen for you which will break that barrier and which will bring in the much needed confidence much needed happiness you are seeking for so let, the next is the time for some crystal shuffle i have had a lot of magical fun in the first group let's see now what messages do i get for you so i'm going to start the crystals for you the crystal that is because of one crystal and i just interpret it for you so the crystal i have for you is oh the clear quartz i think this is wonderful clear quartz is more about positivity it is the master healer i think it is the most powerful crystal available to us in abundance that you know this crystal can create so much of 
happiness positivity this is the raw crystal this is what i have picked out from the bag as in the bag all we have is tumbles um clear quartz this is the crystal i have always have with me so i think this is a crystal of amplification so whenever i'm feeling sad i'll just hold this crystal while i'm working or something to just you know give that boost of positivity i think clear quartz something um clear quartz is something which will resonate with you because you need to let go of something and uh, i think you are on the process of starting something new so what better than you know finding um positive energy or positive outburst to you apart from that clear quartz also resonates to your crown chakra so maybe it is that because of overthinking or something you might be having an issue related to a migraine or related to a heavy headache or something where where you are not able to think straight your mind is very foggy so i think that is when crystal clear quartz shows up you can directly use the crystal or you can do some shadow work shadow work meaning i'll just give you a simple exercise if you wish to go forward with um you just write down on a piece of paper all your worries right and then you do a yes or a no in front of them that all your worries are true or not um what will happen if this happens you have to just go forward and think most positive thing about it and not the negative thing because worries are something based out of fear right so when you think positive you will attract positive so when you write down all your worries on a piece of paper that is like just releasing that negativity out of your mind obviously it is not going to happen in one go you need to do it a couple of times or more than that to you know just get a calmer mind also what you can do is you can order this uh, clear quartz from us energize clear quartz where you know we'll teach you how to use this clear quartz to let go of all the headaches you are having currently um i think you have been going through sleep apnea or insomnia as well because i can i can feel that i can see that energy coming through um if 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 that is the case please make sure that you know you relax for some time you can take a break it is all okay everything is going to be good all right so that's it what i have for your reading i see you in the next time till then please hit the like button on this channel subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get an update whenever we upload a video also you can join us on our instagram community we we are doing lots of free content over there as well we are doing um free websites webinars and too many stuff as well you can also join our core community from down below we have mentioned a link there you can subscribe and you can get on to our core community it is free of cost we are not charging anything for it we are just building a family which can be there with us whenever we are doing a free session or workshops or anything related to spirituality or a seeker's journey okay that's it i'll see you in the next one bye bye hello and welcome back everybody who has picked this amazing citrine brace that i absolutely love its color citrine is the crystal for abundance prosperity wealth happiness i think this is one of the most prized possessions i have um also if you like this bracelet and if you want to order one you can go to our instagram page and dm us to get this bracelet or you can want you want to customize crystal kits or something for you we'll be more than happy to send it to you today is the last day if you want to get 25% off on any product i think it will be most beneficial for you if you order by today itself <laughs> um apart from that please hit the like button at as, as it is a great way of supporting free tarot on youtube and we'll start with your reading wow so the first card is the empress the chariot the word card knight of wands and five of wands I think this is a very good reading as your reading starts with three major arcanas here it is it is 
a good positivity flowing through i can feel that um also i can feel you know these cards are very much resonating to the citrine as citrine is more about working on your confidence it is more about happiness it is more about success creativity and so many stuff so i can i can feel that um let's start with your reading so first card is the empress card i think uh you are currently in a phase of life where you feel very much happy you feel very much content with whatever you have you are at a good space you have a balance of everything in your life and i think that is absolutely wonderful to have um also this card can be a sign that you know you are at the topmost peak of your creativity currently you are channeling that creative mind of yours to create something so beautiful and in alignment with your soul uh if that is not the case you might also be having a baby <laughs> or you might be going forward through a major commitment with your partner that is just a specific detail if it resonates please don't worry if it doesn't resonate um okay the second card here is the chariot i think you have been very much determined to you know bring your life where it is right now you have been working on your um life so much that you have brought it to the ultimate form of balance where you know you can see what is good for you what is bad for you you can navigate your way through the cycles of life you can you can make sure that you know whatever it is that you're going through whatever it is that is coming new challenges or new opportunities you are doing it in a very determined way i think this is a great sign for everyone who is mentally very very strong who is balanced with emotional uh, challenges as well if this doesn't resonate with you right now then this is something that is coming up for you in the next 90 days i think it is very beautiful to witness because you will be finishing up a great cycle of your life and stepping into a new cycle okay the center of your reading is the world card so if you think that you know whatever you're doing right now doesn't feel right or it is give you some sort of fluttering in your tummy that is because there is something new coming in in your life um there is something new waiting to happen if that sounds true uh, within the next 90 days you are going to have a quite balanced time apart from that uh if you're worried about your work or family life i think those both things are also going to go in, in a good balance so with the world card coming you are ending a cycle and you'll be beginning a new cycle for your life it is more like a phase which comes in everybody's life you know sometimes it is regarding finances sometimes it is regarding your romantic life or your family or people around you or uh studies or whatever it is the life is based on apart from that if you feel like you have some issues in life the issues can only be one that you are very much hasty when it comes to taking decisions and sometimes you regret it okay so when it comes to that please please um think that you know you need to think about the people surrounding that decision the people uh who will be affected by your decision so you cannot be always thinking about yourself you have to see what impact does it make on the people if um if this is regarding your work if this is regarding your um career it can be that you know whatever decision you are taking can affect a lot of employees you are working with or the company culture if this is something regarding your studies it can be that whatever decision you take for your studies can be a problem for your family or they might have to go through a struggle to you know help you out in whatever you are trying to achieve apart from that i see that you are completely on the right track just you have to be a little bit more sensitive about uh how your decisions are affecting people this does not mean that you need to put people first but you need to have compassion for everybody who will be affected by your decision all right so 
uh, this is what I have for you for these 90 days. I'm going to shuffle on camera for the oracle cards to know and clarify that whatever you we have had in our reading is true or not. Um, till then, please hit the like button so that the YouTube algorithm starts working for us. You can order this amazing bracelet on Instagram with this handle. <laughs> You can DM us and our team will get back to you. So let's start with the reformation for group three. All right. Yeah. I am in control of my life. I make decisions that are best for me. Oh, wow. This resonates with the Knight of Wands card. So when we were talking about decisions right now, I think this makes great sense as you need to be just a little bit sensitive about people in your life. Um, and if you have been a very much of an empath nature where you are just thinking about others before you take a decision for you, then you need to put this into consideration that you know you are doing what is best for you and you'll eventually see that what is best for you will turn out the best for them as well. So I think this is something very beautiful. Uh, apart from that, if this resonates with the chariot card as well, whatever challenges that are coming in, you know what is good for you. So I think this is something you still stick by in the next 90 days where you can, you know, understand yourself better and finish up this little happy times and you can step into a new phase of your life which will be even more exciting even more happy you know um, i think this is more about a family as well because this is the card of a child birth so if there is a baby coming into your house the world card can signify that you know you are going to have an upgrade in your life you are going to have a massive life change it is going to be something you have been looking forward to even if that is not the case still the word card uh, resonates with the fact that you know something new something good something of a great change is coming in your life which is going to be a life altering phase for you so i think uh, that would be anyway great so now it's time to read and pick a crystal Let's see which crystal comes out. If you wish to order a crystal, you can also DM us. We'd be love. Sorry, we'll be happy to send you one. <laughs> I can't do both things. I'm not a multitasker. Okay, this is the crystal I picked for you. Oh my goodness! It is the citrine crystal. This happened with group one as well. I picked out the rose quartz from their bag. And I think it is it is so great to see this magic unfold on camera. Um, citrine is the crystal for abundance. It is the crystal for success. It is the crystal for happiness, prosperity, wealth, confidence, creativity and whatnot. I think um, these cards, wands, energy are something which belong to the element of fire and citrine also belongs to the element of fire. I'm absolutely loving this. I'm getting goosebumps right now. Um, okay, so when it comes to <laughs> citrine, citrine talks about our solar plexus chakra, which belongs to the confidence, which belongs to, you know, boosting that flow of energy, which will create prosperity, wealth, opportunities for you, which will help you manifest things faster so i think your reading is all about manifestation currently that you know whatever new is coming in your life is just bringing you happiness and nothing else so if you're worried about what is going to happen in the future or if you're worried about you know what new beginning is coming in for your life or what it is that i'm talking about so much don't worry this is something which is just going to upgrade your life so i think this is something more about bringing that um, extra flow of energy in your family where, where you know you are already going through a good phase but you upgraded to an emotional satisfaction 
into a stable life where you are prosperous happy healthy and you can actually access the abundance so i think that is coming in for you in the next 90 days it is a very beautiful reading um if you love these crystals and the color i love the color on camera like this is not that bright this is a little bit um orangish yellow but i love its color on camera look at that anyway you can order this bracelet from our instagram shop you can dm us and we'll be happy to send you one um right now we are doing a 25 percent off on all products above orders of rupees 500 so dm us now today is the last day apart from that you can join our core community the link is also added in the description box um the joining is free of charge you have just have to subscribe via email no other details required of course your name as well apart from that everything is good to go uh you can also go through our instagram page you can follow us there you can get updates about life there uh we do too many things into uh education as well we are taking too many workshops and also um please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button on this video so that you can be notified whenever you get um sorry whenever we upload a video or not whenever you get anything whenever we upload a video uh, apart from that it is an honor to read your cards please stay tuned and we'll be seeing you next week with another video where we'll be doing readings about a new topic which which probably maybe you can resonate more if this doesn't work out for you so thank you and bye bye